Well, welcome to video number three of the Patty Hank Shelton School of Nursing. This is our Stat Lab teaser trailer. Again, we are back to the SimMan 3G and his pure awesomeness. As you can see, we discovered today that SimMan has a very large head, and we had to adjust our Got Public Health hat a couple of times before we were able to get it on his big old chunky head. Okay, today we're going to do a little bit something different. We are here with Phil Howell, the Stat Lab guru. He's going to tell us a little bit more about what this guy can do through uh, the wireless connection. So, Phil, what are we going to talk about today? Well, first of all, this is Fred. This is Fred. This is okay, Fred. I like it. First off, you guys got to notice, if you'll see this hat, you see the rope going across of it? You know, talk about going retro, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so what are we going to talk about with Fred today? Yeah, Fred, Fred's a little sensitive about his hat, so be careful there. <laughs> all right. Fred, Fred likes his hat. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is the monitor, our patient monitor on Fred. And as we talked about in the last, last time, Fred is essentially wireless, uh, autonomous and wireless. Well, his monitor is not connected to him, so uh, it's wireless again. Mm -hmm. He generates his own Wi-Fi. We're going to look at we're going to look at Fred's wireless monitor up here too. First thing we're going to look at is his pulse oximeter, just like a pulse oximeter that you would find uh, in the hospital, and we're going to look for. Uh, First of all, it's it's looking for a signal on me, and fortunately, <laughs> I'm in uh, pretty good shape here. I'm generating 97. I've got a pulse oximetry reading. I've got a SAO2 of about 97, 98. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna see if we got one on Fred. Put it on his finger there, and Fred's actually doing a little bit better than I am. Fred's got well 97. 98, okay, Fred's about the same as I am, okay? And you see the pleth wave there, that's his pulse, that's actually his pulse going off in the reading there, 99, 98. All right, so he's doing pretty good there. Now, uh, most of the rest of this, if we hook up something, then we just touch, we touch the monitor and it reacts to us. This is just like an ICU monitor touch screen okay so uh, now some of these are not hooked up but we touch them and we get a reading touch screen okay so blood pressure cool. cuff blood pressure cuff is on his arm okay now these are just like uh, a lot of the other uh, mannequins the the patient simulate the high fidelity patient simulators uh, we get a blood pressure on the left arm the right arm is for IV therapy Okay, and, and you can pretty well see that this one's got, this one's already got a, a IV implanted in it, but we can start IVs on it. But the left arm is the one for blood pressures only. On this one, we touch the blood pressure and we touch it again. It gives us a little menu. We push start. And if you watch, watch the numbers there, it's taking a blood pressure. Okay, so I just told it to take a blood, now, provided I've got the blood pressure cuff on there, it's taking a blood pressure. All right, now the program is running, uh, the instructor program is running on the laptop, and it's got a predetermined blood pressure, but what I'm doing is asking what it is, essentially. I'm taking that blood pressure, 126 over 84, and there it is, all right? So that pretty well covers what the monitor will do, the patient bedside monitor. <laughs> 